Dustin Shilcox is paralyzed from the chest down, but new research in electrical stimulation of the spinal cord has him standing on his own. Impossible as it may sound, this rat is paralyzed. What you're seeing is an experiment in stimulating the spinal cord with electricity. When the spinal cord is broken, the brain's commands can't make it past the neural injury. But now researchers may be able to supply artificial commands to the lower limbs. Electrodes were implanted in the rat's spinal cord and, when activated, they enable the rat to walk short distances. Even more amazingly, researchers are conducting similar experiments with humans. Dustin Shilcox broke his spine in a car accident in 2010. In 2012, he began participating in an experiment with researchers from the University of Louisville. The researchers surgically implanted an array of 16 electrodes into his spinal cord below the break. The electrodes stimulate the neural bundles in the lower spinal cord. Typically, the brain sends commands to these neurons, which in turn control the muscles of the lower body. Similarly, the researchers send wireless commands to a pulse generator, which controls the array of electrodes. Different combinations of electrodes, frequencies, and voltages have different effects on Shilcox's lower limbs. The researchers monitor his muscle activity with electromyography sensors to gauge his body's response to the different combinations. They are trying to figure out how to replicate the brain's commands. With the right electrical signals, Shilcox can now stand independently. So can the three other people who took part in the study. Complete control of lower limbs is still a long way off. But one day, this type of treatment might give paralyzed people the ability to walk again. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Eliza Strickland.